Mining stocks surge on upbeat US inflation data. We reveal the micro mine art that made the 100 Club and which blockbuster movies has Disney put on ice? Trading Up, a collaboration by the West Australian and Graffa. The Aussie stock market was back in the black today with the mining sector driving gains. Shares in all the big players were in the money today with Pilbara Minerals and FMG amongst the biggest winners. So what caused the resources rally? Well, news out of the United States that inflation fell to a two-year low. That means the US central bank, the Fed, is likely to keep interest rates on hold when it meets tomorrow. And that's good news for business, especially the miners who often have to borrow money to fund their projects. Staying with resources and the Japanese energy giant Itamitsu today increased its stake in Delta Lithium. Itamitsu now owns 15% of the Perth-based miner, which has lithium projects in Mount Ida and the Gascoigne regions of WA. The new stake gives the Japanese the right to block any external bid for Delta. Shares surged more than 2% on the news. We turn the spotlight to our state government, who today announced they would issue the state's first ever green bond to fund renewable energy projects. Cookies Mob set aside $1.9 billion to fund green initiatives like Watercorp's desal plant at Alcamos and also battery systems for Kunana and Collie. Back to the markets now and Graffa's dark horse of the day is Leo Lithium, the Perth-based miner which has a large lithium project in Mali, West Africa, has seen its shares climb almost 70% in the last 30 days. Still to come, the micro mining stock that triggered a frenzy on the market today and the Disney movies that were relegated to the back of the queue. Stay tuned. <laughs> Now, to those blockbuster movies that have been put on the shelf for a while. It seems we're going to have to wait for the latest instalments of the Avatar and the Star Wars flicks, as Disney has put their release dates back. The new dates for James Cameron's third Avatar movie has been moved from mid-2024 to December 2025. I went to the studio and I said, let's not just do another movie, let's swing for the fences. It takes years to make these movies, but there's nothing like this. Although Disney didn't comment on the reason for the delays, the move coincides with a writer's strike in Hollywood. Quite a few well-known TV shows and movies have already been affected, including Netflix's Stranger Things and Apple's Severance. And now, the Disney blockbusters. Seems those writers know how to drive a pretty hard bargain. <laughs> And finally, that mining stock that joined Graffa's 100 Club, Golden Mile Resources. Shares in the Sydney-based miner exploded on news they found high-grade nickel at their Quicksilver project in southeast WA. Shares climbed 133% on the day. You can find out more business news content at thewest.com.au or for all the data and insights behind this video, check out graffa.com. Thanks for joining me on this episode of Trading Up. I'm Heidi Cuthbert. See you next time.